Hi, I'm Gary Strom. I'm the director of music, and we've got a great auction coming up, and we want to tell you about it. And my colleague here. Hi, my name is Ari Crane. I'm the uh, consignment director for Vinyl Records and Music Memorabilia, and this is the absolute greatest auction of all time. This is going to be fantastic for music. Okay, we're going to share a few things here right here at the beginning. I think one of our top pieces that we've ever had. 60 years ago this year, this album came out and we have a signed copy and it's the Beatles, Please Please Me album, their very first album in the UK. Prior to it coming out, I'm going to set it right over here and uh, tell you a little more about it. It was signed in February of 64 when the Beatles were doing uh, their ABC TV special, Big Night Out. And uh, the girl that got it, named Sheila, is even a... Uh, uh, dedicated to her by John Lennon on the back. What's really great about this piece is the size of the autographs and they're all pretty much horizontal. A lot of times when the Beatles would sign, they would sign in the white area so they'd be sideways, upside down. This one is one of the most perfect ones I've seen. I'm very excited. It comes with an LOA from Frank Caiso and it's going to be in the next auction. That's awesome. Well, what do you got, Ari? Well, I have Prince's Black Album, which is insane one of five found in a box in uh, north america this one is sealed and has been graded a nine out of a ten making this what we believe one of the nicest examples on the planet yeah absolutely uh, being only the five in existence that we know yeah, only five so still in the original uh sealed perfection you see the back you have the explicit uh parental advisory uh explicit lyrics sticker on the front and um this is going to be up for auction coming up yeah a great piece Another great, great piece that we've got here. We have a first state stereo Beatles Butcher album. Wow. It is just stunning condition. And it's also in the auction. You know, it was only out for a couple of days before it was pulled off the market. So there's not a lot of the first dates knocking around. But to have one show up after almost 60 years in this kind of condition, we are really excited to offer this in the auction as well. It is. It's an absolutely top condition beauty, and I can't wait for this to come up. Uh, what I have next is the uh, Nirvana Nevermind. This is, has the gold foil promo on the back. So this is the uh, original promo version of Nevermind. Let me get the back opened here. And you can take a look at the gold foil on the back. Again, finding it in this kind of condition after these many years, as much as this album was loved in this kind of condition, you just don't see it. We, we look through records all the time and it doesn't happen very often. Yeah, again, as Gary mentioned, the condition is, is just beautiful uh, to find. To find anything that looks like this uh, in near perfect condition is very, very difficult. Well, to get back to uh, Butcher covers, since we've got this big auction coming up, we have a wow. mono copy graded and sealed, still with the original shrink wrap on it. Which not is not just, sealed. It, it's well, uh, that's not. Yeah. Excuse me. Yet it is uh, encapsulated. Thank you. Or slabbed, and it's open with the original shrink wrap. You can see it here at the end. It's been opened years ago, but somebody was clever enough to keep the plastic on it. And this piece here is just going to be another, far as we know, this is one of the first ones to be slabbed. And we're pretty excited about it. And, you know, the, as you hear us talking here in the next few minutes about slabbing records, this is something that's come new. And it's like people have been slabbing comic books and baseball cards and other various things for years. Records have made that uh, grade now. and. Uh, it's very exciting to have something like this. So Yeah, what an iconic piece, and to find one that's graded in 8.5 uh, in the original shrink wrap. Uh, this is yeah. the cover only, but again, 
you know, find another one at that grade. They're very, very difficult even to find a second or a third state in uh, that grades an 8.5 yeah. is very, very hard to do right now. So. And you can go at our website at ha.com and look at sale 7309 and see all the other great pieces that we have will take pay place on the 18th, 19th, and 20th of November. We've got a lot of great posters. We've got a lot of great vinyl. We've got a fantastic Jerry Garcia collection, which we'll be telling you about later. And what else do you have there? I have an item that is the first of its kind. Uh, it is both physical and an NFT digital asset. So this is the first ever Ska 33 that led to the birth of Ska music and reggae, 1964 Ska Authentic from Studio One. It's actually on the RD label, predates the Studio One. And when it was re reissued in Kingston in 1967, you know, they, they only used two of the original songs. So this has, this is one of three known copies with this label uh, variation, and it is uh, completely different or nearly completely different from the 1967. So uh, with this, you get the, uh, the NFT and the record. Yeah, let's let's talk about the quality because oh it wasn't yes, issued, it was they they had to use submasters to make it and they're not very good compared the, to what this is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the submasters they the the sound quality is about like a, I would say like maybe a VG plus. Uh, however, this uh, digital asset is as as far as we know the highest grade on the planet for this record uh, the sound graded a nine out of a ten so i can't imagine that uh, um, a, a first ska record this if you look on the back it has all the grand grandfathers and creators of reggae music uh, lee scratch perry the maytals jackie matu everybody on there so it's, it's a piece of history it is it's just fabulous yeah. here we've got Bob Dylan's freewheeling. And we've had a couple copies before. There's only a few in the world. We, in fact, we made a world's record with the stereo copy just a little over a year ago and it sold for 150,000. This particular album came out right at first to be pressed with four deleted tracks that Bob came in and said, hey, I don't want these tracks on there. They were supposed to have all been destroyed, but some of them leaked out to you know, different people that were reviewing. A few got sent out in some batches to a couple of shops because I've talked to several people that actually bought the copy in a store. So there's just a hand few, f handful of these out there. So it's pretty exciting and really great condition. We played it, has a few pops and whatnot, but just to find a copy of this is just unbelievable. And here we are offering it in this auction as well. Great piece. It's fantastic, and you know, uh, one of my favorite pieces, uh, we had the pleasure to go out and um, uh, meet the consigner of our next piece, but right behind you, this Sister Rosetta yeah. Thorpe is um, five foot tall, cut out that was made for the release of Larry Cohen's book. Um, it, was a, it was a one of a kind cut out, and um, I just, I'm in love with it. I think it's just beautiful in every way. And what's so cool about Sister Rosetta Thorpe is, most people that go, who? They don't know about her. Go on YouTube and watch her perform and play guitar. Unbelievable. And she was a big influence on a lot of people in the uh, later 60s, 70s, and 80s. But one of those uh, names you don't normally hear. But she was a short girl, so this is probably pretty close to her actual size. height. You know, it's oh, probably 95% wow. there, you know. That's awesome. So she, can, she can always be in your living room keeping you company. Yeah, you know, and she was well made. Um, she was made for a book release, for uh, Larry Cohen's book release, and um, you know, all about the blues, and um, you'll see quite a few of their pieces, including this piece, which was a Handy Award presented by the Blues Foundation for uh, exceptional re-release. It's actually presented to Columbia Records who gave it to Lee, or to Larry. Yeah. And um, it, it's uh, made out of bronze, sitting on a wood base, and it was for that 1991 Robert Johnson re-release. So you actually are looking at the Handy Award for the Robert Johnson uh, complete series re-release for all of his back works. Yeah, find another one of those. This is, <laughs> this is just amazing to have something like this. And Robert Johnson is so important in music. 
he made changes that we wouldn't have a lot of the music that we have today if it hadn't been for his writing and his skills in the 30s. So, and we even have something else, don't we? Yeah, I, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about this or not. Well, we can talk about that. Awesome, man. Yeah, we, we've got number 10 of Led Zeppelin's object. What's really cool is Ari filmed him opening it. This was still sealed when we got it. We talked to the consigner and said, well, you know, we need to open it up and confirm that it's in good shape after all these years. I was really conflicted, Gary. You know, when it came to unboxing this, uh, I, I was really on the fence because um, on, on one hand, you know, we have to make sure that for our bidders, uh, as well as our consigner, that the condition is going to be top notch. Yeah. And we also, you know, um, if it's a t if it says 10 on the box, I mean, that it, anybody could have written that. It, I wanted to make sure it was number 10, not the 110. So, um, you know, we just had to all around check it and it, it's in beautiful condition. Yeah, indeed. It is you can uh, you'll see uh, some images pop up here that our, our buddy uh, will put in for us because we don't want to take it out of the box and touch it again yeah I don't uh, yeah. no human hands have touched it uh, gloves were I'm the only person that unboxed it uh, I use gloves and um, you know I, I, I really wanted to uh, put it back the exact same way that it was taken out so it's wrapped in the exact same way as it was taken out. Um, the yeah, you can go online and, and watch it being yeah, cu cut open and opened and taken out so you can see yeah. what Ari did at the time when it came in and it's uh, it's the nicest one to be ever be offered obviously yeah and it's just great having a low number of number 10 number 10 is incredible and you know what heritage underscore entertainment on instagram and uh, you can actually watch the video of of um, of us unboxing this that's a great piece well i've got something really special here that really is close to my heart and it's uh four albums from the doors we've got waiting for the sun we've got the soft parade We've got Morrison Hotel. And we have L.A. Woman. What's really special about these and just blows my mind is having four white labels in this kind of condition. I can count on one hand how many white label Doors albums I've handled through the years. And to have four of these at one time. And uh, this is just spectacular. Yeah, and the condition was really, it was a pleasure to, uh, to grade these and to, to um, uh, see these when they came up. Just they, uh, like, like Gary said, these, these hardly come up and never as a, as a group of four. And it's coming so, from a special collection as well. It is coming from the Copeland collection. We know that, um, that absolutely the, the highest care was taken for them and to get the best one. So. And the Copeland yeah. collection uh, auction continues in this catalogs as well. We've got a lot of unbelievable, great, one-of-a-kind promos, test pressings. Uh, do we have any acetates this time? We do, yeah. We have some blues acetates. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah. it's really exciting to be working with this collection still. It's just, it's got to, it's got to keep on giving for quite a while. And I hope you all, you know, go on the website and see all the other stuff that we can't tell you about because of the time restriction we have about bragging today so much good stuff and so little so little time yeah. so that's the tough part when you have all gems next we have a blue note sunny clark trio first pressing but more than that it's the first test pressing on the plastolite test pressing an actual blue note test pressing that's great and the condition <laughs> again is just superb condition is gorgeous yeah, within the Copeland collection, we were just so surprised to see so many VG Plus and Near Mint records that just uh, you normally don't see of this type of vintage of records because they were played. And that's why they are such great pieces to have in an auction because of the condition and people get to uh, spin them on their own turntable at home and, and be blown away at how great they're going to sound. 
Yeah, I, I always say this, you know, when you find something that's 70 years old that looks like a newborn or looks like a five-year-old, that's something pretty special. Uh, yes. there's, there's, you know, somebody is really taking care of that. It's been sealed, it's been, ta it's been kept in, a, in an environment where, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna degrade or be, or be further yeah. damaged, so. And, and see, we both had record stores. I had my record store for 28 years. And when jazz would come in, most of the time I'd have to turn it away because it was worn out. It's just unfortunate, but that's the way it is. And to see these things come about, and look at this. This is just never seen this in my Next, life. Next, we have the amazing Nina Simone on Colpix. And this is one of 10 that have been found on blue vinyl. So it's really tough I personally have um, I, I personally have two different play copies of this record uh, but but to find one on blue vinyl this is this is pretty amazing and we um, I had this slab it, it's uh, just a gorgeous and extremely scarce example of this record yeah that's great and that's from one of our other uh, people that are slabbing for us where you've got a gatefold slab so you can show off a colored vinyl or a test pressing or something and still show off the cover Next, I have Nirvana in utero, and this is a sealed first pressing in utero on clear vinyl, one of only 15,000 that were made, graded in 8.5. Yeah, that's just fabulous. Another album that got played and played and played you, you, when I look at them, when I'm doing record fairs and conventions and stuff, you never find them in this kind of condition. I have a piece you may like to talk about if you're interested. This uh, Robert Johnson oh. test pressings. Yeah, well, we, what can you say? Robert Johnson was the man. He changed everything forever. And here we have the album, the reissue, and test pressings, and this beautiful, beautiful uh, framed piece as well that comes with it. And, oops, thank you. And uh, you know, for your Robert Johnson fans, I mean, you have this on your wall in your office or your uh, man cave. How cool would this be? This would be incredible. You or know, your girl cave. <laughs> three white label test pressings um, and the uh, the 1974 album, uh, and then also the uh, the artwork for the 1974 album. Here's something that's going to grab everybody's attention. How popular is this girl right now? Unbelievable. But here we have one of her really early, early awards. And you're not going to see these knocking around. This is stupendous. And again, you can go on to HA.com, look for sale 7309. And this is going to be a trophy for anybody that loves Taylor like most people on the planet do. Okay, we've got some more to share with you here. What else you got, all right? Oh, well, I have uh, Linda Hoyle, Pieces of Me, that has been slabbed and received a super high grade. It's on a hinged slab. It's the UK Vertigo first pressing from 1971. And this is the, um, this also has a, a non-fungible token. So you have a sound asset also. Um, we have four NFTs in this auction and they're the first of their kind uh, re vinyl record NFTs that come with the physical media. Right. So you get both the physical media and the uh, non-fungible token recording of your album that you would yeah, then you own. Just scan it on the back and listen yeah. to it. You don't have. Uh, Only 300 of these made in 1971 on yeah, the UK Vertigo label. And it's an amazing album. Just go online and listen to it. Please, you yeah. Won't, you won't believe how great this album is. It's one of those sleepers that I wish I'd been listening to for the last 50 years, but uh, missed it until we got the collection last year, and I put it on, Ari put it on, and I came out of it my office my and going, what are you playing? It and absolutely it's one of those blew things my mind. It just stops you in your no. tracks. Yeah, look up, uh, just search Pieces of Me HD and uh, the, it'll get you to the album, and it's amazing. What else do we have to share? So I have two Blue Note Jazz Records, top condition. I have a, a Blues Nick, a Jackie McLean, with the uh, 47 West 63rd address. This graded a nine for both the cover and the record. So a nine uh, overall grade, which is an extremely high grade for this record. I've never seen a nicer one ever. 
and um, it's tough for me to give out. I can find flaws in almost anything. So to give out any, you know, to give out a nine is is um, yeah. very rare for me. That's like most people's tens. This is uh, this Freddie Hubbard Hub Tones. Also, it was a very high grade and a uh, New York USA first pressing. Just a beautiful record overall. And to find these in this condition, um, I, I just wanted to share with everybody because you don't see these records in this condition anymore. Um, for all the shows that we go to and the stores that we go in and, and uh, hunt for records and, you know, good luck. So. And one last piece that we have in the auction. It came in right at the last minute and it is a oil painting of Jimmy Buffett. The painting was used for a uh, New Orleans Jazz Festival po poster, and it's just stupendous, and uh, you will love it. You, images are appearing on the screen right now as I talk, and uh, it's going to a really good cause. You can read it online. It's gonna, gonna help a little girl with some surgery that she needs, and I want everybody to pay attention to it because it's really important and it's just a dynamite piece and how many people love Jimmy Buffett. You know, what, what a guy, what a performer, and what a good guy. You know, all the good that he did, for, especially with charities and whatnot. So, right now, that's about all we're gonna share today. You can go to ha.com, see all the other great stuff that we have. And if you have any questions at all, you can contact RARI and we'll help you out on anything you'd like to know. And or if you're thinking about consigning in the near future, we've got a Beatles only auction coming up in February and we're taking in consignments for that now. It's gonna be 60 years since the Beatles hit America on the Ed Sullivan Show. And we are doing a special auction two weeks after the big celebration. And it's going to be at the TWA Hotel at the JFK Airport. It's going to be a big event. Lots of Beatle people will be there that have worked with the Beatles. They will be announced here coming up in the next few weeks on the website Fest for Beatle Fans. We will be there promoting our auction two weeks later. So if you have anything that you'd like to put in there, contact us. And like I said, go to our website now, look at this current auction. We're doing a lot of really great stuff and a lot of great vinyl is coming up in this auction and our December auction. We have another auction coming up then, so be watching that and we're gonna have a lot of great time. Hey, thank you much. We'll see you soon. Thank you.